When it comes to the SUV makers in India, there's hardly any brand that can match the Jeep's legacy. The US-based brand came to India in 2016 with the Jeep Compass and now they are upping their game with a 7-seater SUV called the Jeep Meridian. We are here in Chandigarh to test what this car is all about and does it offer that much of a space which Jeep promises can change the 7-seater D segment of India. The Jeep Meridian is essentially based on the Compass 5-seater SUV, but unlike Compass being a C-segment SUV, the Meridian is actually a D-segment SUV and the changes are quite visible. In fact, Compass and Meridian hardly looks like each other, barring few elements like the signature 7 slat grille of the Jeep. Everything else is new, right from the headlights to the bumper, alloy design, rear and overall dimensions as well. The Meridian is 4769mm in length, 1859mm in width and 1698mm in height with an overall wheelbase of 2782. The Meridian also gets 18-inch diamond cut dual tone alloy wheels. All in all, it's among the most premium looking SUV in India but still lacks the bulk as against the full-size SUVs like the Fortuner. Unlike the exterior, the cabin of the Jeep Meridian resembles that of the Jeep Compass in every possible way. However, the biggest addition in the Meridian as against the Compass is the additional row of seating. The middle seats have one touch drop function for easy movement in the rearmost seat. Now let's address the elephant in the room. How spacious is the rearmost seats of the Meridian? Now if you are planning to buy the Jeep Meridian because it's a 7-seater SUV, then I have some bad news for you. This here, the third row of seating is strictly best for the kids in the house and not adults. And if you want to carry adults, it should be for the shortest possible distance. The quality of the Jeep Meridian is top notch and the car feels premium from the get go. The 10.1 inch touchscreen infotainment system is a delight to operate and gets the latest Uconnect connectivity. It also gets the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, both wireless and 9-speaker sound setup. Other features include a 360-degree camera, a fully digital instrument panel, panoramic dual-pane sunroof, auto tailgate, among other features. In terms of safety, the Jeep Meridian gets 6 airbags, TPMS, electronic parking brake, hill start assist and more. The highlight of the Jeep Meridian is its off-road power. Although it doesn't get the Trailhawk rating as the Compass, which I am anticipating will be added soon, the SUV is being made to conquer almost all the terrains with ease. It has a ground clearance of 203 mm, approach angle of 20 degree and departure angle of 22 degrees. We performed stair climbing, water fording, which it gets 16 inch water fording depth, steep climbs, near vertical descents, axle bender, among many other off roading tasks in the Meridian, and nowhere it felt out of its comfort zone. In fact, there were very few moments where we had to use the all wheel drive and select terrain system to get past the challenges set for us. The Jeep Meridian is powered by only a 2-litre multi-jet diesel engine producing 170 HP and 350 Nm of torque. It's not directly comparable to the big 7-seater SUVs, but the engine is refined and amply powerful. You get a new 9-speed automatic gearbox along with a 6-speed manual option. The Meridian is also available in both 4x2 and 4x4 drivetrains and also gets select trade for AWD variant only. 
despite its sheer size and length the steering feels nimble to operate however is on a bit of heavier side for the city driving the independent suspensions do their duty pretty well and the car feels planted and plush there's hardly any body roll in the car thanks to the not so tall structure and the nvh levels are mostly under control barring certain times when you feel the car is pushing too hard everything else is in its place and the meridian feels like a driver's car both on and off the road <laughs> The Jeep Meridian launch is expected to take place towards the May end with deliveries beginning in the third week of June. I am expecting the prices to start at Rs 35 lakh for the base version. The Jeep Meridian doesn't have a direct competition per se when it comes to the premium 7-seater SUVs with off-roading abilities, but can stack against the Toyota Fortuner, Mahindra Alturas, MG Gloucester and to some extent Skoda Kodiak. Presenting B News app available on Google Play and App Store. Download it now.